In this video, we're going to go over the answers to the missing angle problems in the basic quiz. So here is question number two. It's asking, is this an equilateral triangle? And we know that it is because these two angles are each 60 degrees, which means this one would need to be 60 degrees in order for them to all add up to 180. And we know that in an equilateral triangle, all the angles equal 60 degrees. And this would be an isosceles triangle because it has two sides that are equal and two angles that are equal. So that would be isosceles. And um, this would be a right triangle because a right triangle has uh, one right angle which is what this is right here. So right triangle. So what is the measure of the missing angle? We know that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So 70 plus 40 is 110. So 180 minus 110 would be 70 degrees. So the missing angle would be 70 degrees. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle because we know we can tell that these two sides are equal and these two angles are equal. So we know that if this is 78, if we say 180, because they all have to add up to 180, minus 78, that gives us 102 degrees. So that means that these two angles together have to add up to 102 degrees. And we also know that they're equal. So if we say 102 divided by two, that means each of these angles would be equal to 51 degrees. So here we're trying to find this missing angle right here. We know this one is 90 because a little symbol. We know this one's 25. So 90 plus 25 is 115. So 180 minus 115 is 65 degrees. So it's asking, is this figure a rhombus? And that is true, it is a rhombus because all four sides are the same. And that's what makes a rhombus when the four sides are equal, so that is true. So here we have a trapezoid and it's asking, um, which, what's the measure of this right here? And it tells us that the top and bottom are parallel. And we know that angles between parallel lines in a trapezoid add up to 180. So if this is 75, then 180 minus 75 would be 105 degrees. Okay, so it's telling us that this figure is a parallelogram and it's asking us what's the measure of angle S. Well, we know in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So if this is 70, that means angle S would also be 70 degrees. And here we have another parallelogram, W, X, Y, Z. And it's asking you this time, what's the angle of the measure of angle W? So if this is 104, we know that 180, these two together in a parallelogram have to add to 180 because angles between parallel lines add to 180. So 180 minus 104 would be 76 degrees. So the answer, the measure of angle W would be 76 degrees. And that is the end.